Hello, Internet. This is Sophia. Have you heard of a such thing as a false analogy? A false analogy is a kind of logical fallacy. Rational Wiki defines the false analogy as, quote, a logical fallacy that occurs when someone applies facts from one situation to another situation, but the situations are substantially different and the same conclusions cannot logically be drawn, unquote. Recently, Prager University released on YouTube a video that is a particularly shameful example of this particular fallacy. In this video, Will Witt, one of PragerU's personalities, went around with two petitions, one hidden behind the other. The first of those petitions was a petition that called for stricter penalties on anyone caught destroying eagle eggs. The second petition, which he wouldn't show until after the first petition was signed, was aimed at stopping abortions. Well, I strongly suspect that this video, which was edited with commercial quality, focused only on select responses. For argument's sake, we will have to just assume that he was not presenting us with a deliberately skewed sample, though, as I've said, we have no, absolutely no way to verify that that was the case. Still, even with the responses that we did see, we did not get to see the entire conversation. But at any rate, those people that he showed were happy to sign the petition opposing the destruction of eagle eggs, but were not so eager to sign the second one. The title of this video is, Is an Eagle Egg More Valuable Than a Baby? This title seals any doubt about what point the video is trying to make, which is that people who are happy to sign the first petition but not the second one supposedly value the embryos of eagles more than they value the embryos of humans, and by extension that they value the life of certain birds of prey more than they value human life. Here is one example of this. See how it goes. We have a petition to stop the killing of eagles, like eagle eggs. We have a pen right here. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Don't kill eagles. Yeah, don't kill eagles, right? Eagles what have rights, too. <laughs> so here's a pen. Eagles are people, too. Yeah, eagles are people, too. So it's sign... I have one other petition about stopping the killing of humans, too. Oh my god. Like, babies. You hate abortion? We want to protect their rights, too, even though being, like, unborn. Wait, so I know no, if you would I wanna... don't agree with that. You don't agree with that? No, I'm like, I, I'm pro-abortion, sorry. Oh, fair enough. Why, why do you- <laughs> Is this awkward now? Oh no, like, I don't agree. The body. I think because there's specific, like, uh, rape isn't considered when you're talking of, like, e eagles aren't raped. That's, I think that's true. A human woman should have- Yeah. A lot of things get overlooked when we're talking about people because we have consciousness. Yeah, fair enough. Do eagles have consciousness? I don't know. I've never talked to an eagle. That's fair. I don't think eagles have a lot of opinions. I don't think so either. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we just finished. Of course, the person here is showing given a rather lame defense of why they are willing to sign the first petition, but not the second. Is this because there is no good defense of it? No. Is it because a person being approached is too weak-minded to know the actual defense of their position? Also no. The reason is that they were ambushed by surprise, but I'll get to that in a moment and first explain what the actual defense of this combination of positions is. The truth is, there is a fundamental difference between the kind of the destruction of an eagle's egg as people talk about allowing or not allowing and the kind of human fetus abortions that people talk about allowing or not allowing that is completely independent of any inherent differences between the values of the lives of eagles and humans. Notice that I'm not referring to all abortions of human fetuses, but specifically to the kinds of abortions of human fetuses that people are talking about allowing or not allowing. You might ask, what other kinds of abortions is there? The truth is, if there were an organization, whether it be the government or any other organization, that were performing abortions on humans without their knowledge and or consent, and Will Witt were distributing a petition specifically aimed at stopping that, then it would not be quite so controversial. As long as it was clear that the petition could only be used against abortions performed without the knowledge and or consent of the people carrying the fetuses in question, there is a good chance that most of them would sign it without hesitation. Somehow, I am doubtful that you are going to find eagles anywhere who are consenting to the destruction of their eggs at the hands of humans, let alone requesting anything of that sort. Furthermore,
even hypothetically, if such a thing were documented to occur, an egg could easily be taken from such an eagle without any invasive medical procedure and incubated without with any further involvement from that eagle. Again, very different from the situation of a pregnant human who, without an abortion, would be burdened with having to carry the embryo to term. Therefore, treating the destruction of the egg of a non-consenting eagle and the abortion of a human fetus done at the request of the person carrying the fetus as being equivalent in such a way as to suggest that someone who opposes the former but not the latter values the lives of eagles more than the lives of humans, that is clearly a blatant example of a false analogy. But why was nobody on this video seen making such a clear argument as this? Well, Witt would probably have you think that it is because such a position actually is indefensible. The truth, though, is that this is because Will Witt entered every encounter in this video fully prepared, while the people that he was interacting with were caught completely off guard without any warning. They simply didn't have a chance to gather their thoughts in order to give a good answer. For example, when I watched this video, I knew right away that there was something wrong with Will Witt's angle. But it took me anywhere from 20 seconds to a few minutes to put my finger on it. Then it took me additional time researching on the internet, five minutes at very least, before I had the correct name for the fallacy that I had identified. Now you may not think that five minutes is very long, but compared to how long these people that Will Witt ambushed had to respond and try to avoid looking like idiots, that is in fact a very, very, very long time. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up button and share this video with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. As a matter of fact, if you are a member of any community in which this video would be relevant, it would help this channel a lot if you shared it there as well. And if you haven't already done so, please remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so as to receive notifications of videos that I upload to this channel in the future. Until next time, see ya!